Hello, Darlene here of a Virtual Perception Podcast. This is the second video in a series of videos that'll teach you how to record and edit using Audacity. In the first video, I showed you how to download and install Audacity, as well as how to download and install the lame MP3 encoder. In this video, I'm going to jump right into it and tell you how to record and save using Audacity. So the first thing you'll need to do when you open Audacity for the very first time is to set your preferences. And this is how you set your preferences. Go File, New. Then go to Edit, Preferences. And you'll only need to do these preferences one time. And uh, the preference recommendations I'm going to show you now are ones that I just recommend, recommend in order to ensure a good quality for your audio recording. So the first thing in preferences that you should click on is the audio input output tab. So it's the audio IO tab. In playback under device, make sure you choose your computer speakers. In recording under device, make sure you select the microphone that you're using to record your audio. Then under quality, in default sample rate, make sure it's set to 44,100 hertz, and default sample rate is set to 16-bit. This will ensure that your audio recording is a CD quality. Finally, under file formats, under uncompressed export format, if you're using a Mac or Windows, make sure you choose WAV. Another option if you're using a Mac is to make sure, um, is to choose AIFF. So now your preferences are all ready to go and just simply click OK. And now you're ready to record. And recording in Audacity is extremely simple. Up here in the control toolbar, you'll recognize buttons that are probably familiar to you. You have a rewind, a play, a record, pause, stop, and fast forward button. To, re to record, simply make sure your microphone's plugged into your computer and you have your microphone selected as your recording device in your preferences. Click record and just start talking. And as you start recording, you'll see in the audio track that your waveform will start to appear as you record. These valleys and ups and downs, that's called a waveform. So you can keep talking and talking and talking until the cows come home. And it may be if your phone rings and you still want to continue talking and you don't want to stop recording, you can click pause and go about your business, answer your telephone. And when you're done with your telephone conversation, click un unpause the uh, pause button and continue talking. And once you're done recording your piece of audio, click stop. And now if you want to play back and listen to what you've recorded, hit the rewind button and then click play and just start talking and as you start recording you'll see in the audio track so there I listened to my piece of audio I recorded actually let me backtrack I recorded my piece of audio and in this first audio track I now see my audio um, my waveform I should say in this audio track I rewound the audio and I listened to it I have a piece of audio recorded Maybe you want to edit it, but maybe you don't have time to make some editing changes now. So you'll need to save it. So what I normally do is I save it as a .aup and a .wave before I'm ready to edit. So to save your piece of audio, save project. And Audacity's file extension is .aup. So I'm just going to save it as uh, test2.aup, click save. Now I want to export it as WAV. You know, a good reason why if you want to export it as both a .aup and a .wave is a .aup you can only edit that piece of audio in Audacity. So if you're on the road and you're on another computer that does not have Audacity installed and you want to edit your original file, you won't be able to use the .aup. So that generally that is a good idea then to save it as another format. And it could be a .wave or a .mp3, whichever you choose. 
So I'm going to just do all three as an example. So I'm saving it as a wave. And I don't think I explained it. So you simply go to File, Export as Wave, Save, and then it'll save it. And finally, if you wanted to export as MP3, just File, Export as MP3, Save. And now edit the ID3 tags for the MP3 file. This is very important if you're putting out something like a podcast. So you'll want to edit, you'll want to enter information here. So you would want to enter the title of your podcast, the artist name, the album, track number, year, genre for a podcast. I usually choose blue, um, other, I should say. And then in comments, what I usually do when I'm entering my ID3 tags for my podcasts is I'll put my web address in there. So I'll put for show notes and more information, visit www.avirtualperception.com. And then I would click OK. Because this is a test, I'm not going to do all that. But I would just click OK. And it's going to export my entire piece of audio as an MP3. That is how to record and save your audio using Audacity. The next several videos will be how to edit. And I'm just going to do some basic editing techniques. Um, so thank you for watching. And uh, until next time, happy recording.